Hello everybody, in today's video I will be showing you how to edit black and white negatives in Photoshop. So, on if you already have Photoshop downloaded, find the file on your computer, open in Other Adobe Photoshop 2023, find the program on your computer, and it opens up something like this. Of course, you first open it up in Camera Raw, so for basic first adjustments, but I never do any adjustments here. I just o click open. And here if you want to spin your image around, you go into photo, rotating image, and 180 degrees in my case, and it turns out properly. And now we could just crop it. So we got a nice crop in here and click enter, something like that is good for us for now. So after it's rotated and cropped, we will go here into other options and we will open a curve layer. It opens up a new layer here and we take the blacks, we pull them all the way up and we go to the whites and we pull them all the way down. And as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit better. And now you could play around with the curves here. When you raise the blacks, it makes them brighter. You could raise them wherever your photo starts having some shapes. You can raise it to that level. And with the whites, you lower it until it starts going on to this part here. As you see, it's starting to look a little bit better again. And now we could do brightness and contrast. We could move the contrast all the way up. Oh, we could adjust the brightness if you want some as well. And as you can see, we got some color casts on here. So we could open up a new function here, uh, black and white. That will change it into black and white. And as you see, our photo is starting to look a lot better now. And of course here in the black and white you could play around with different color sliders because they will, most of them, usually have an effect on your photo depending on the type of photo you have. Like here you see the green slider does have some effect on it. Let's make it darker. This blue as well has some effect on it. Let's leave it like it is here. And of course, if you would want to delete any dust particles from your photo, you just zoom into them dust particles you want to delete, and you could use it with a regular healing brush. You just click on them, and they disappear just like that. Just like that and you can clean your photo from all the dust particles you could find for a very nice and clean photo. As you see, all the dust particles are disappearing from the photo without leaving any trace and without any problem. See, here we got a dust particle on the nose and it's gone. On the cheek and it's gone and it's gone. Just like that. So, when you're done with the photo, you just go into File, and Export, Export As, and here you choose the file format, the quality, you can raise it up for max quality, and Export, and it asks you where do you want to export it to. So let's export it to the same place we got it and you will have it saved in the place you set it to. So, this photo was taken with a very strong flash, so the subject is lighted up better and the background is much more darker, so that's how this photo will come out, but you could play around and see how your photos come out. So, thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in film photography, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them for sure. So thank you for watching, take care, and see you in the next video, my friends.